Hello and welcome to the training for SAP Field Glass on the desktop or website version of the software that is used for weekly timekeeping for ACARA employees. So if you'll recall, um, there is both a mobile app and a desktop version of the timekeeping. Um, we as ACARA representatives will provide you your username and your password, um, prefer or hopefully within a couple days of starting. But once you have those, um, you put your username, all lowercase, your password, um, which is case sensitive, in the spaces and click sign in. And again, um, this is uh, fieldglass.net. Um, once you do that, you'll have a home screen here um, that will allow you to get to your timesheets and to your profile if you need to make changes. So if I click right here on this little icon, um, you click my profile, you can change email address, you can change username, password, um, and so you, you do have uh, autonomy to make those changes. If I go to here, view timesheets, uh, this will provide you a list of past timesheets that have been approved or current timesheets, which for this example, we're going to be entering um, this week's timesheet. So you may actually have two at the top of this list that show draft or which means has not been entered or submitted yet. Um, and that would be in cases of, let's say you want to submit your timesheet and your week has already passed. So it's like Sunday night or Monday, Tuesday. Um, you may actually have two timesheets here waiting for you. It would be the week before and then the current week. So I can't stress this enough that you do want to always check the start date and end date to make sure that you're entering for the correct week. Um, so I've verified, yes, this is the week I wanna submit. I will click on this blue um, series of letters and numbers, and that's a link to the timesheet that I want to uh, input. And if I click edit, that's going to um, bring up the blank timesheet. So it will have uh, blanks where I can enter each day, either straight time or overtime. And um, that's the data entry. So again, it's edit. You'll click edit. Sometimes this takes a minute to load, but um, once it does, I will show you how you want to enter your time. Uh, also remember that ACARA does not pay for the half hour lunch. So your lunch is always deducted from your total number of hours um, worked. Doesn't usually take this long, but we'll be patient as it loads. Okay, so again, this is the um, blank timesheet. Listed are the days, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday through Sunday. Remember, uh, the Sunday is the week ending. So um, as a note, if you're on third shift, your Sunday night shift, you'll enter on Monday. Your Monday night shift goes on Tuesday. So your days should still be entered as Monday through Friday. Um, and then there's straight time, overtime, double time. Straight time is your normal pay rate, overtime is time and a half, and double time um, you really shouldn't ever have to enter. So let's just say for this example um, that there, each day the individual worked nine and a half hours. So I'm going to just, in that space where the cursor's blinking, 9.5, which is nine and a half hours. 9.5, 9.5, 5. And then as you can see, I'm as I enter, it's creating a total here. So I know that at Thursday, after Thursday, as of Thursday, I have 38 hours. So 
I worked nine and a half in order to calculate my overtime correctly, this should be two. So I'm going to have two straight time hours so, so that that's 40. The additional seven and a half will go there because that's going to be anything over 40 is overtime. So these are my time and a half hours. These are my straight time hours for a total of 47.5, nine and a half hours each of these days. Um, let's say, for example, this individual had a couple days that they didn't work. Let's say those days were Thursday and Friday. Um, and then let's say these were 10 hour shifts. So 10. 10 and 10. So like I said, it's calculated 30 hours. Um, if I'm ready to submit my timesheet, if it's complete, I'm going to click Submit. Um, you may have to click this a couple of times just to, there will be a, a, a reminder screen, click Submit again until it says success that you've submitted your timesheet. If you'd like to just save this, let's say this individual worked Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, but their week's not done and they're not sure how many hours they're going to work each shift, so they want to wait until the week is complete before submitting, you can click complete later. Complete later here will allow you to save your timesheet in a draft status so that you can go back into it and um, and complete it later. So for this example, I'm going to do that. I'm going to hit complete later. And then when I go to timesheets again and click on here, see you can see there's 30 hours already entered. So you can click on here again, click edit again, and then you'll be able to effectively finish the timesheet by entering your Thursday and Friday hours. It will open up the blanks again. Um, once you've done that, then you can submit your timesheet. So that's pretty much it for the timekeeping process. Um, what I would also like to remind you to do is when you go to, after you've submitted your timesheet, say the next day, what you'd like to do is go back to this list so remember, view timesheets and check to make sure what the status of the sheet you submitted. It should say either approved, pending approval, or if it says rejected here, that means that something was wrong. You've entered something incorrectly and need to fix it. So the supervisor has rejected your timesheet. You would click on here, go back in it, edit, and make the corrections that you need to make and then resubmit. I hope that helps. Uh, we appreciate you. And uh, please let Amy Rector know if you have any further questions.